Pretty early in the morning. Just grabbed some coffee and I got me a little Portuguese roll with some butter. And we're gonna be going to the Collinswood Flea Market in Farmingdale, New Jersey. First time ever I'm gonna go there not just to actually buy but to sell. As you can see the back of the car, got a whole bunch of old goodies that I need to space back at home. Certain someone doesn't want to be in the video, so we're gonna just hurry this along. See you at the flea market. <laughs> So we're here a little early, but uh, we're just waiting for some daylight. And apparently, all these resellers here are walking around with flashlights, looking at stuff before the public gets here and takes it away from them. Kind of smart. We'll probably be out of here <laughs> the first hour if that's the case. I don't know. My junk's not that valuable, so it's mostly attic and basement junk. So far, two sales in less than an hour, not bad. Made up more than the tables cost, $7, so I made maybe $20 so far, so let's keep it going. asking if a lot of the stuff was stuff that I just couldn't sell on eBay yeah I would say half of that is probably stuff that I couldn't sell on eBay and other stuff is just stuff laying in my basement my attic my parents house I've, I've already gained the space back and get something off of eBay is a dollar so bottom total pool eBay Facebook flea market garage sales so it works get something for it Day two, 8 a.m. This time we got the blue table. Let's get on to roll.
so we're almost to the end of the day. I raked in another close to forty dollars. I would say forty over. And the other day I made sixty, so close to a hundo. Of course, I'm gonna use that money to buy newer stuff and try to resell for this quarter four. We'll see. All right, we're done. Let's head back home. For some of you who probably are interested in coming here and selling some of your junk. I'll give you a quick recap, give you the 411 on what you gotta do. Finally back home, pretty tired, but if uh, you were watching this video, just keep in mind, I didn't go back to back days, I went back to back Saturdays. So if you're interested in going there, I'll give you all the uh, gist of it. Uh, Collingwood Flea Market is in Farmingdale, New Jersey. They have three different types of tables, depending on how you would like to uh, set up your stuff. They got the red, white, and blue table. The red tables is right at the entrance, it's the primo spot. You have to reserve that in advance and it's $12. Um, the blue table is kind of in the middle. You also have to reserve that one and that one is $8. And the white table is kind of at the back, but not so far at the back. You'll still get people to come look at your stuff. That's $7. Um, for the white table, you have to uh, be there at 6 a.m. because it's first come, first serve. The blue and red table, you don't have to be there until 7 a.m. Now, you're wondering how do they collect the money? Well, somebody from Collingwood will go around and collect the money. So you don't have to pay anything in advance. You don't have to find people at some, some room or whatever to pay them. So uh, it's pretty fair, it's pretty good, uh, and again, it wasn't worth it for me, I don't live too far from there, maybe a good 40 minutes, and you know, I got to sell a lot of the junk that was laying around my house, and extra income helps for a reseller, especially in quarter four, when we're actually uh, supposed to make the big bucks, the sales for Christmas. So yeah, $100 extra to go ahead and, and reinvest, sounds pretty good to me. So. You know, if you were watching the whole video, thanks again. I really do appreciate it. I'm a reseller. If this is your first time watching, um, if you like the video, click a uh, thumbs up, give me a like, uh, leave me a comment what you thought. Uh, if you want to keep watching, subscribe because I'll be making more videos, especially for the quarter four that's coming up. As always, let's all support each other and keep in mind scare money, don't make money. Have a good one. Bye. One quick thing that some of the stuff that I couldn't sell and I just don't want to bring it back home, I went ahead and took it to the Goodwill Donation Center. So a little advice, again, you guys don't have to keep trying to resell the same stuff that hasn't sold. You make the judgment call, try it again or just donate it and get rid of it. Getting that space back in your closet is more valuable right now than anything else because then you can stack it up with more other stuff that you can sell.